Keep it going. Wow. 100 years old. 100 years old. Imagine 100 pounds. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I only hope to make it that. You that's, can lift your a, clicker 100 times. There you go. <laughs> no, it'll get some use over the next couple of days. Okay, I know you got plans tomorrow. Yes, I do. You've been asking me a lot about okay. storms and showers. All right. They'll be around. Yeah. They'll be widely scattered. Okay. So I don't think it's anything to cancel over. Okay. I keep that rain gear nearby. Okay. Is that right. fair? That's Best fair. That's all you can do. Best I can do. Uh, thank we you, do sir. Have a little bit of rain tonight. It's, most of it's been light showers falling apart. We take a live look from Dundalk. What has returns? A lot of clouds. Maybe you notice the humidity today. The moisture's come back in a big way. We lost some of our heat. Part of that continues into the weekend. So let's uh, switch over to big picture radar right now. Baltimore for reference. I want to get the scope of things because you can see the activity lining up. This is actually a low pressure system that's kind of out on its own. See that signature counterclockwise spin? Telltale sign that we have a low on the way that is going to be our weather maker tomorrow. It's a lot of dry time in between these storms and showers, but you can see the activity already lining up. So futurecast overnight brings in a round of thunder showers and then starting off 6 a.m. on Saturday, you can see we have a lot of clouds in place, but some colors starting to pop up. So thunder showers will try to make their way in. They'll die off at times. They'll pulse back up and notice the overall spin to this as it continues to rotate. This is uh, noon on Saturday, starting off dry here. Eastern shore too. Then watch the activity start to bubble up a little bit. So 1, 2, 3 p.m. spotty thunder showers here and there. It's a brief heavy downpour. If you get caught under one of these, a flash of lightning, a rumble of thunder, severe potential is very low. That's the good news here. But uh, if you get caught under one of these, bring it inside for a bit. Go back out after it uh, clears 15, 20 minutes. These will make some noise. Dry time through the overnight hours into Sunday, and then all day Sunday has got a lot of dry time. Certainly during the daytime hours, clouds stick around. This is 4 p.m. through 8, 9. It's after sunset, late in the evening, that we could have some spotty showers in place. That's a frontal system on the way. Sunday into Monday, we're big picture again, 6 a.m. Rain lingering early and then gradually clearing on Monday as temperatures cool off a bit for the middle part of the week. Tonight, some showers and a rumble thunder possible. I think most of it will be uh, just rain. 61 degrees, though, very warm. That will set us up for tomorrow to get back to the mid-70s, where we'll have those scattered thunder showers throughout the day. Not each hour raining necessarily, but somewhere in our area seeing those spotty showers and storms in place. 78 on Sunday, we warm back up as so that rain holds off. Just to fall back to the 60s by Tuesday. Spring feeling more like spring to the middle part of the week. It's on borrowed time, though. We trade the 60s for highs back in the low 80s. A lot of dry time next week. And as we get to Friday, warming up big time. Mainly sunny, 82 degrees a week from today. All right, Chris, thank you. Well